Hello YouTubers, Hammy Tech Nerd here. And today we are out back out in the living room and we're looking at my VCR stack again. In my last video I played a tape and it was a 8mm tape and it played some digital music and it showed on the screen how the digital music affected the video. But in this video here I'm just going to show you my stack and uh, demonstrate what I do with it. Why I even have one. Okay, so this one, this deck here is an 8mm unit and it plays 8mm tapes and they're these, the, these little ones, uh, so they come in these little cases here. Those are little 8mm tapes and it's got this control panel that you can open up and it reveals all the controls, okay? And then to get it to play, if you don't have the remote, you just hit the play button, okay? And then you see I got something going on the screen up here and this was one time when we were at the uh, the Anchorage Performing Arts Center and we were uh, performing with the band, uh, oh, what's, what's the name of the band again? Oh, Crossfire, that's right, Crossfire. White Cross, not Crossfire, White Cross. Yeah, okay, and that's the members of the, the band and the local band that also opened up for them. Their band, the band's name was Refuge. Okay, so anyway, that's that's that video, and I've got the sound muted, so you, you can hear me speak. Anyway, that's the 8mm tape, and how I selected the 8mm to play is I got this little switch box, okay? And I can switch between the switch box and make it so it doesn't play, or so it does play, okay? And that's, yeah, you can see it's kind of flaky a little bit, but... Um, that's playing the 8 millimeter, and then if I wanted to stop the 8 millimeter, I just hit stop, okay? And then the video goes to that. Now this one here, this, close that up. This one here is a VHS. You see, it's got a panel right there that displays what's going on, and the tape goes in there, and it already, there's already a tape in there, and to hit play, you just hit this big button over here, okay? And it's starting to play and then I got to switch it to the switch box and that's what's on the screen there and that's the blues man playing the harmonica okay and just a hint that's me that's me playing the harmonica there I am the blues man and the cameraman wasn't very steady that day so anyway there you go that's me that's me playing the harmonica okay and that's the other guy. He's the singer from Refuge. And, and that's the, uh, the Super VHS. And what's uh, cool about these machines, the 8mm and the Super VHS, is they have what's called a flying erase head. Uh, a flying erase head means it erases right at the moment that you hit the record. Uh, there's no separate erase head. It's built into the, the rotary video head so it starts erasing immediately whereas on uh, typical uh, videotapes there's a separate erase head and it has to catch up and there's always that area of the tape where it's kind of flubby dubby dubby and then it starts playing right well with a flying erase head you don't have that and then let's see below that i've got my super beta betamax machine and it can record all, just as, so you know, all of these can record in stereo soundtrack, which was a big thing, you know, in the day when VHS and, and Betamax tapes were, were available. And when you could play stereo, that was pretty cool. So let me uh, put on the beta tape and it'll start playing. And then I gotta hit the, uh, there we go. And look at that. That's Noah's Ark, or at least that's what they're showing. A model of Noah's Ark and it's the guy from Ripley's Believe It or Not boy I got a bunch of Ripley's Believe It or Not tapes so yeah this is one of them and most of them are on Betamax <laughs> so anyway yeah I got the Betamax and I got the Super VHS and I got the 8 millimeter and to top it off you know what I have is I've got a um, I've got a DVD recorder, so I can record directly to a DVD any of these tapes. So if I wanted to chronicle Ripley's Believe It or Not, I could put it onto a DVD. 
So that's pretty cool. That's why I did that. I've got my stack here, and that's why I did it, so I can put it all onto DVD. So anyway, that's today's video. Just a look at my recording stack here in the living room, my VCR stack. And until next time, see you later.